Hey guys, I will not be at the Shaw Classic this year. Unfortunately, as I just said there, I will not be doing the Shaw Classic alongside Luke um, on Wednesday when I went up to the airport, there was a few complications with the flights. Obviously myself and Luke got bought by Shaw and his team and we bought Cushy and Sinead through our travel agent. But the details of Sinead's were wrong, the wrong way around. So her first name Sinead was Stoltman and her last name Stoltman was Sinead. So Stoltman was in the forename, Sinead was in the surname. So obviously flying to America you can't have it, anything wrong so that was kind of a bit of a stress and you know a wee bit of a panic for myself I had to try and phone the the travel agency to see you know to try and change it they said they couldn't do much uh, they said wait an hour tried it they said no nah, it wouldn't go through they wouldn't let us cancel their flights or you know change the date of the flight for the next day so everything was kind of all up in the air already and my kind of with me kind of obviously <laughs> of autism I kind of panicked and thought it was the end of the world. Um, so I just said to Luke and Kushi, those two to go out and I'd try and, you know, sort something out if it was possible um, to try and get out there. I kind of maybe should have flew out, flew down with Luke and Kushi, but I didn't want to fly over without Sinead. You know, I couldn't have just left Sinead in an airport and say, Luke, you know, I'm going without them and that's it. We all planned to go over together, so we wanted to be all go over together. Um, and that was that kind of thing. My first instinct was to make sure Sinead was alright and to try and get her sorted and to think about me second. So, you know, we were up since 3 o'clock, so I got home from the airport about 8 a.m., tried till about 12, 1 o'clock to, you know, wait until see if we could actually get Sinead's fight rebooked and changed. Nothing was happening. Looked at other flights, but by then there was a lot of two stops. The prices had gone up to quite a lot, three, four thousand pounds. And I think a lot of people would probably have said, oh, you could have flew over yourself, Tom, but. I can ne I've never flew flown out of UK by myself because I just on a plane I really panic in airports I really really panic when a lot of people around I really panic and just get overwhelmed and do the wrong things or miss miss my connecting flights or whatever it is so that's why I have well as you say the support birth of my wife Sinead out with me because I like to she relaxes me and you know someone I'm comfortable with and I can fly with really easily so not I didn't want to go out there myself and that was the hardest thing was trying to get you know Sinead the, the flight as well. By two o'clock in the afternoon I started being kind of really exhausted and didn't really know what to do by then and physically and mentally then I was just kind of right right my head and my head's now not into the in, sorry into the shock classic because I was trying to deal with trying to get these flights and stuff sorted and physically I just was drained and everything so anyway I kind of Messages back and forth with Brian and stuff and you know all that all that kind of things and then he said about five o'clock last night he would that he would offer to pay maybe for myself and Sinead to go out. But by this time, you know, I'd already kinda of had a lot of meltdowns and was trying to just you know, I was overthinking a lot of things, just panicking, just just a bit kinda of, the situation was got a bit too much for me and I kinda of just said to that by that point, you know, I wasn't ready really, really willing to go out and that I think and for my best interest was just for me to pass this competition. I think, you know, because if I had got a flight Thursday, which is today, and got out there Thursday night, again, there's one day to recover, and me not being 100% and also not kind of then, you know, mentally being in the competition or physically being in the competition, it might have been worse for myself. I might have come away from that competition and maybe like the bottom few places and been like, right, uh, then my mental state would have maybe even been affected for the next two or three weeks. So I kind of made the decision of being right, right. So I need to see how, see how upset I was getting and she had said to me as well, look, you need to think about yourself and just not go over this year because it might not be healthy for you by the time of all this pressure and all this stress you're going through to try and, you know, resort everything um, to then, you know, by the time you get out, I get out there, it might just be too deflated and not even put on a show or anything. So the good thing is Luke got over and he has arrived and he's safe as well and all the other athletes are there. You know, Shaw would probably be a bit frustrated and our team would be a bit frustrated that I didn't get out there. You know, but we tried and 
everything just got a bit too much. So, you know, I, I sincerely apologise to Brian Shaw and all his team and stuff out there. Um, hopefully, Luke can, you know, put up a battle for both of us. But, um, yeah, physically and mentally, I just wanted to take the decision into my own hands and call the decision myself. In the past, for a lot of competitions as well, you know, when if things have kind of mucked up in trying to get there or you know if i've not had a really good prep or whatever it, the situation is i've kind of just said yes i'm going to do it or and kind of try and, and then explode by the time the, the the competition comes to sorry so in this situation cause mentally i was kind of so draining like i said had meltdowns was crying was just back and forth to look stressing out and stuff i just kind of Luke just said to me as well, you know, make, you can make your own, you can make your decision of not going. You know, no one's gonna hate you for it. it uh, you know, it's just one of those things that it happened, and it probably shouldn't have happened, but it is what it is. So yeah, I, like I said, I sincerely apologise to Brian Shaw. I hope the Shaw Classic is very successful, and it's a, you know a very very good show, and everybody has a injury free competition. I made the best man win. I think I know, you know, the top three of my choice are looking at 100%. Hopefully Luke will go out there and have some fun. Obviously, you know, he's not 100% for it and uh, hasn't been really prepping for it. But I think he's going to just put on a good show and, you know, when the crowd's there and the buzz of the other athletes, he's going to have some fun. So that's what, that's what it is, guys. I wanted to be the guy to announce it and just to, like, say, you know, oh, why is Tom not there? I just wanted to say that's kind of my situation. It all got a bit messy and too much for me, like I said, and I just made the decision of... You know, by the time last night came through, like nine o'clock last night, ten o'clock, I was just kind of all, like I said, drained and just mentally, physically wasn't capable of wanting to do, go out to the competition now. So that was about it. I might be selfish. Some people might see this in a selfish way. Some people might just, you know, respect my decision and stuff. But I've come on camera today just to tell you why I'm not going to be at the Shaw Classic. Like I said, at Worlds, I'm trying to have the rest of this year off. So Shaw Classic was obviously a competition I was going to do. That was, that hasn't worked out, so I may do one now, September, October time, but we'll see what happens. But yeah, anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Hopefully this clears things up. Um, sorry if it sounds like excuses and stuff, but it was out of my control. We turned up to the airport. I tried my best to do other stuff. Brian Shaw and stuff obviously offered as well, but like I said, by that time, I was just kind of already kind of had a lot of breakdowns and just ready to kind of just say, look, I can't physically and mentally cope and come over so um it was just in my best interest to say no this year yeah finally one more time just big thank you to brian shaw for uh inviting me and uh hopefully he understands as well that this these kind of things can get a bit too much for me i know it sounds stupid and stuff but for the normal not for the normal kind of person it's these things aren't big for but for myself you know it can it can make it it's like a a big rock exploded in my head. So yeah, anyway, massive thank you to Brian Shaw and Kerry Shaw for the invite. Hopefully your show goes great. Um, I'll still put the ticket link, uh, the, sorry, the live stream in the bottom of this video so you can go and, you know, enjoy it. The pro show, the open show, you can enjoy all the le different levels of strawmen that are going to be there. Go enjoy it, watch it. I'll be tuning in anyway and to support all the athletes, but stay safe, smile and stay spicy. Please keep ringing that little bell. Ding, 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 ding.